Hello, hello. Good evening to view to the viewers who are currently listening to this video or watching to this video. The title of our tutorial video is How to Survive a Night in Minecraft. So to get things on for safety. Minecraft could cause seizures or even photosensitive epilepsy, as well as eye strain, sleep disturbance, and many more. If you're sensitive to bright lights or you have you happen to have a history of epilepsy, it's best to talk to your doctor before playing Minecraft or any other video games for that. To get things off, the purpose of this tutorial video is to showcase to the new player to the new player of Minecraft or a perhaps a player who hasn't played in a while in, in Minecraft. And one of the major elements of Minecraft is to survive a night. Yeah. And now, before we get into the nitty gritty of things, it's worth mentioning the tools. Now, for the tools, it's relatively simple. You don't necessarily need much. What you're going to need is a, is a system to play on. Now, Minecraft is available across different platforms. PlayStation, Xbox, mobile devices, iPads, computers, and such. And next up, you also want to make sure you have Minecraft installed in the device that you choose to play it on. This can, this again can vary across different platforms, but in most cases, Minecraft works across everything. You just need to make sure that it's up to date in addition to working out any other stuff that you need to work out. Now for maintenance, this is one of the crucial parts. So Minecraft is essentially a low maintenance requirement game. Pretty much what you need all you need to do is just to make sure that minecraft is up to date on the current soft on the current version that mojang has released which is the developer of minecraft updating minecraft not only has many benefits this so this not only ensures that minecraft runs well but it also helps make helps fix bugs performance improve performance as well as add new features that everyone loves in most cases, Minecraft will update itself automatically, but in the event that it does not happen to be updating itself, you would just need to update it manually. This is essentially just, you just need to press play as if you're about to download, as if you're about to play it, and then it will just download on its own. Another issue is there's a chance that game files of Minecraft may be corrupted or damaged, and this can have a very much a very, very, very bad thing on the game itself. In an event that this happens, all you need to do is just to delete Minecraft and reinstall it. This usually will fix the issues or revert by the game files. And then in addition, this, I would say this is not necessarily mandatory, but I would say it is a big requirement. To back up, so backing up Minecraft is essentially helpful. This ensures that you have your whole game file saved, you have your world saved, and it also helps prevent data loss in case you have a hardware failure, something bad happens, life happens, and whatnot. To, you, to do this, you can use cloud storage, external hard drives, or backup software to just back up your Minecraft stuff. In addition, game settings, in addition, just in the settings in, the, in Minecraft is can help improve performance and it can actually prevent crashes. What you can do in settings ranges from the likes of reduced view distance, actually more movement to the game, and adjust the graphic settings to optimize gameplay. Re really, this is really this is more so down to your personal preference or as well as the needs of your platform in case that it may not be as powerful as compared to a computer. In addition, Last but not least, we have the controls. Now, the controls in of itself is can vary. For a default, your for a default, you have your default controls in Minecraft. But in the event that you might not be comfortable with that, you can you have the ability to adjust your controls to maximize your enjoyment of the game. Now, on to troubleshooting. If in, if in an event you can't launch or install Minecraft, what you what you can do is to force close Minecraft. And in order to do this, you would just need to right click on the task bar and select Task Manager. Or 
control alt delete for windows users you would select tax manager and look for anything that says minecraft in the process section and once you find it you would simply just right click it and select it and tax more information will be found in the paper that we have filled out <clears throat> in the video in the youtube video and in addition if you if you have issues installing minecraft it's best to make sure that your device fits all requirements and once you do, and once it does once you make sure that it does put all requirements simply delete the launcher and reinstall the minecraft at launcher if this issue persists it's best for you to launch the minecraft launcher as an administrator and the second point is if it crashes on startup try to lower the video game settings and make sure that the device's video graphics are up to date if the problem somehow persists, reinstall the game. And if you happen to have issues with logging in or authentication problems, you have to first make sure you have created a Minecraft account. And if you ha still happen to have issues with this, try making try logging in with a new account. And in the event you happen to have you happen to be playing, or you notice that there is a low frames per second or FPS. And another su one suggestion that's used to fix this issue is to adjust the video game settings in Minecraft to adjust the graphics settings in Minecraft. This is no, this is guaranteed to improve performance as well. In addition, it's also worth mentioning to make sure that the device that you're playing on is pretty much up to date. For computers, you have your video drivers for mo much more mobile devices and consoles. Just make sure that the application is updated as well as the system. And in the event that you have to have stuff from sound or audio issues while playing Minecraft, there here are the following suggestions that we have. You also, first, you have to make sure that the Minecraft sound settings are on. Make sure that the headset and headphones do work properly and make sure that you turn on audio on your device. If this problem somehow persists, try to update the device's audio drivers. Again, this is for computers, but for mobile devices, consoles, there's a set, there's a settings in those two that deal with audio drives. Now with all that out of the way, let's get right into the nitty gritty of this tutorial. What you'll need to do first is locate and go to retreat. What you're gonna do next is to then punch, which is if you're playing on PC, you're gonna be hold, you're gonna press and hold the left click and on the wood blocks on the tree until the target of wood breaks. And you're gonna repeat this next step for any remaining wood blocks on the tree that you're attacking. And next up, you're going to open up the crafting menu, which is on keyboard is escape. And you're going to place the wood, the wood, the oak logs in the crafting, in a four by four crafting space. And using that same crafting menu, you're going to put all the wooden blocks in the same four spots to make what they will call a crafting table. What you're going to do next is you're going to then place the block on the desired spot. Now, just a quick cut up. If you want to, to place a desired block that you want to place down, you would then just left right click on any desired spot that you want. And using the and to and using the same crafting table, you're going to put you're going to then put two blocks of wood in the middle downwards to make sticks. And with that same stick, you're going to make a wooden axe. Next up, what we're gonna do next is to use the axe to chop down more wooden blocks. This speeds up the process because you're not punching the tree. And you're gonna keep doing this 
to any tree that you see in this vicinity until you've received your desired amount of wood. You're gonna turn all the wood into wood planks as you would as before. And with that, with the amount of wood planks that you got, that you will have at least roughly close to three packs of the same wood planks. So using that, those same wood planks that you got, you're going to, what you're then gonna do is to place the, place the wood, place the blocks in a nine by nine wooden perimeter. And you're gonna use that to basically just make, start making the shelter around the crafting table. And you're basically gonna keep doing the same exact process until the building is three blocks high. What you will want to do next is to place one block on top of your the top of the three. And then you're gonna break two blocks to make an entrance. This is where you'll place your door, which you're gonna to get to in a bit. And on a crafting table, you're gonna make a wooden door. This is done by placing the wooden blocks to fill up the right side, basically. Exclude the, the far left and include and basically fill up the middle slot and the right slot. And that's how you make your wooden door. You're gonna place it on the entrance that you have made. And this is where you're gonna be making a pickaxe. This is done by placing the sticks in the middle, exclude the top, and you'll fill the top three slots with the wood and that's how you make your wooden pickaxe. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go outside your lovely house and you're gonna build yourself a staircase using your pickaxe downwards as seen. And you're gonna keep doing this until you find stone. Then we're, with the pickaxe, you're gonna, nine, you're gonna need to mine at least nine pieces of stone. And with these uh, nine stone blocks, cobblestone blocks, sorry. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use the crafting table to make a furnace. The fur on the crafting table, the furnace is made by placing the cobblestone blocks in a square, excluding the circle, the, the center. And that's how you make your furnace. And you're gonna place the the furnace in the corner, and you're going to use a wooden log as fuel, as fuel in the bottom, and whatever you want to make at the top. With old planks at the bottom and the and the logs at the top, that's how you make charcoal. And using the charcoal, you're gonna make a camp, a torch. This is done by making, this is done by placing one stick at the bottom, placing two sticks on top of one another. Oh no. You're, you're gonna make, to make this torch, you're basically gonna make, put one stick down and a charcoal on top of it, which is how you make torches. And place you can place the torches anywhere inside your house, and that is how you make your house. And in addition, if you want to, you can start filling in the roofing of your house. This is completely optional. You don't necessarily have to do this, but if you would like to complete your house, you can do so. And with that said, that is how you make your shelter. Please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy, hope this tutorial video has helped you so much. And yeah, that's it. That's it for now. Catch you guys later. Bye bye.